Welcome to our today's video cell topic. Our everyday major and minor irritants and reasons why we get irritated. For real value addition through this topic, please focus only on the content. Kindly ignore my lacunas in pronunciation, tone, expression, accent, grammar, my looks, and even this video background. For the content of this video, please ask. Most of our lives, pleasures comes from the collection of memories of our numerous day-to-day -day small small joys. Similarly, most of our stresses comes from accumulated little little small irritants. Many of these irritants, if they can be viewed objectively and individually, are insignificant. But accumulation of many small little irritants, if not dealt with properly and get it out of our system over a period of time leads to major disruption and depressive emotional being and makes us uh, sets the depression in. If we can learn the art of ignoring the small annoyances and the art of focusing on small small everyday elations and happiness, we will have a blissful, peaceful, happy and contented existence. On the other hand, we need to learn to live with few irritants patients, which are the immutable part of the game called life. When stress and anxiety begin to control your day-to-day -day life, it is time to seek professional help. There are habits of yours, those irritate others. If left to fester can break down relationships, erode happiness, stagnate growth, everything. Minor irritation usually reach an exploding point if not sorted out. You may not be able to change other people's behaviors, but you can certainly change your perspective and your reaction and reframe them to create positive meanings. When ignorable incidents start bothering us and when we get caught in the negative overthinking mental and emotional state, it is a sure sign of being depressed requiring immediate attention and remedy. I have given few common everyday occurrence that singularly on their own normally should not disturb you if they happen once in a blue moon. But if they are disturbing you regularly, you have to take action. But if from the following list, many of them uh, make you feel upset, angry, make you go off your handle, lose your calm and make you tense regularly, seek help right away. Now there are 37 everyday irritants including both major and minor ones. Add your own very personal irritants because this is again very very personal. It depends on each person to person. Blow up with a family members and colleague that could irritate you. That blow up reason could be totally insignificant. But you blow up. Being denied a promotion at work. Getting dressing down for no fault of yours. Snoring of your partner. Messiness. Disorganized habits of your partner, colleagues. Of leaving things scattered. This is especially irritating if you are a perfectionist. And it is a very big irritant as well. Road rage. This in other countries may come under minor annoyance. But in India, it is a major big irritant. Because there have been murders because of this road rage. No reason. Just because you did not give me the way or let me overtake you, I shoot you. Complete empathylessness of our partner and close family members. Infidelity in committed relationship. When those habits that you loved in a partner during honeymoon period starts making you mad. When others try to put you down, boss over you or try to bulldoze you and you are unable to respond assertively. Constant nagging by others, blaming you for all their woes, taking credit for your efforts without acknowledgement your role, doing wrong themselves and making you responsible for it, showing off, constant boasting about themselves, always trying to prove that they are right. Always expecting you to do as per their wishes. When you are made the designated or unofficially to do the uh, menial chores. Yes, in offices, in families, sometimes you are the one who
who are supposed to do all the dirty works. When you talk with people and they don't remove headphones, this is minor as well as very disrespectful at times. When people throw away stuff that is yours without asking first, when people leave, use tea bags and sinks instead of putting it in the rubbish bin and you have to go and clean it. When someone licks their fingers before touching a piece of paper or a currency, they are going to hand it to you and you have to touch that. When in the airlines, they simply try to cross you from window to aisle seat without bothering to ask you. When the plane lands and everyone gets up and start taking their baggage from their bins, even though the plane is still moving. When you are talking and someone cuts you off in conversation. When people try to correct your spelling, grammar or any such thing instead of focusing on the content. Cut you off in traffic a last possible second before a turn, entry, exit. Turning without using indicators. Driving on the wrong lane with full headlights on. That means the headlights are blinding you. Insistent honking. Traffic jams. Kids not listening. Public rudeness. Buffering video with a very slow connection. Tangled earphone. Long and slow cues. These are few of the irritants which are some of them are major irritants and some of them are minor ones and some of them can be ignored. Now, being upset about little things on a regular basis usually means there are big things in the background we must deal with immediately because our rage, our blowing of our top on a small thing doesn't mean that we are losing control or becoming irritated over a small thing. It only means that there are big issues internally, emotional issues that we have to deal with immediately. Now, there are 26 reasons why we get irritated when we are stressed, when we are depressed, when we are upset by something else, when we are frustrated by something else, when we have unrealistic expectations from others or ourselves, when we magnify the problem, when we let the irrational take over and make ourselves furious, when we give control to others by being submissive instead of being assertive, when someone has taken advantage of us and in spite of knowing, we let them take advantage. When instead of taking responsibility, we blame others and situation. When we are trying to justify, prove that we are right and it is not succeeding. When we are seeking, seeing things from only one perspective, that is our perspective, that too which is not verified. When we are unable to face facts and reality and insist on being ostrich. When we quit or give in against our wishes. When we jump to conclusions without verifying the facts. Our irritation may mean that we have not understood ourselves fully. Many times we are projecting what we can't accept about ourselves as the irritants triggered by others. Projection, um, you will find a lot of people 